Now we're going to look at some data plans. So a college student is choosing between two plans for her new phone. Both plans include an allowance of two gigs of data per month. The monthly cost of each option can be seen as a function represented with the equation. So option A, A of X is $60. So just a flat uh, fee of an unlimited plan. Here, option B, you have 10 times X plus 25. So perhaps this is uh, a $25 charge for the plan and then $10 for every two gigs that you use. So if the student uh, decides to find values of A of 1 and B of 1, what are those values? So our input is going to be the number of gigabytes and our output is going to be the cost of plant the plants so for option a if i put in a of one well for any value here a is going to be sixty dollars now if i did plan b b of one we have to do some calculation so we would go 10 times one plus 25 or that ends up just being 10 plus 25 which is 35. So if we use a small number of gigs, right now option B is cheaper. So after looking at some of her past values, she decides to compare A of 7.5 and B of 7.5. What if she uses a lot of gigs? She's streaming movies, watching YouTube, or she's in areas where Wi-Fi isn't available. So if we did A of 7.5, that would be 60. And if we did B of 7.5, again, we have to do calculation. So we would go 10 times 7.5 plus 25 gives us 75 plus 25, which would be $100. So you can see for a large number of gigs, the unlimited plan is now cheaper. So we're gonna write a plan in rules, so if, or in words. So if we have A of X equals 60, to describe this in words, for any number of gigs, the price is 60. So if we're looking at plan B, uh, it was 10x plus 25. So our price here was $10 per gig plus 25. So here the price is $10 per gig. plus another $25. So to graph each function on the same coordinate plane and then explain uh, which plan you choose. Well, A of X, if it were zero or one, it's always 60. So we have a horizontal line here, that's always 60. So this is a function A of X equals 60. Now, the other one, if we had zero gigs, it was $25. And then it was $10 for each gig. So I would add $10 and go over a gig. And then here, so we're at 35, go to $45 for another gig. And then here for three gigs, I go up, it'd be $55. And then for four gigs, $65 for five, 75, and so on. We see a linear function right here. So this is B of X equals 10 plus, or 10X plus 25. 
So the student only budgeted $50 a month for her phone. She thought, I wonder how many gigabytes of data would I have for $50 if I go with option B? So if we're thinking about that, if you only have $50, what's the number of gigs that you could, could have without going over? So what you do is you have this, B of X is 10X plus 25. And we put in $50 for B of X. So we have 50 equals 10X plus 25. And now we have to solve for X. How many gigs can you use to spend $50? So I subtract $25 from both sides. And you have 25 equals 10 x then divide both sides by 10 and 25 divided by 10 is 2.5 so x equals 2.5 gigs so now describe a different data plan for any amount of data used it would cost no more than one of the given plans and no less than the other ones. So if it's no more, we could have it be somewhere. The plan could be between 25 and $60. Now, if we wanted to, we could have the graph to stay like in the middle here. We could find a slope where it's going to go through this point where they cross and put them equally. But to have it be no more, no less, we would have to figure out this, what, what could a, the slope of that line be. So we could find the point where they cross and then do that. So I'll leave that as a challenge. Can you find an equation that starts here? and stays between the lines.